diversity and the diversity and inclusion agenda is absolutely critical. I mean, you might have seen as part of our um, Helping Britain Prosper plan, um, so which is the purpose of the group and the plan that sits behind that. One of the key agenda items there was looking at um, how we can increase into our senior management population the number of females that sit in those, those roles. So we set a target by 2020 that 40% of all our senior manager grades and above would be um, filled by females. So again, you know, it's, a, it's a critical thing that we need to deliver against within the recruitment team. We don't try and positively discriminate or anything like that. So um, what we train our managers on and train our business on is that your market should reflect the market you're trading with. Um, and particularly now I would say you could always argue very much and I would agree with that that we were very male heavy within Foot Locker before and that was because I guess the perception was Foot Locker was a very male urban type of customer. With the diversity piece uh, we're actually about to run an event with our suppliers to ensure that they are fully aware of one the agenda that we're, we're, we're trying to deliver against um, two, that we're kind of getting their support and their buy-in to what we're trying to achieve. And making sure that they have all the right tools and the support that they, they can then use to engage with that kind of diverse group of, uh, of candidates we're trying to employ. There's been more of a recruitment focus on making sure you have a balance of male and female people in your team. Um, but also, um, when you start looking at a newer brand like Kids Foot Locker, which is still quite new in the UK, we've only opened three stores so far, or four stores now, um, there's a different emphasis for that too, because actually the kind of person you would look for in a Foot Locker is different to a Kids Foot Locker. Um, and it's not about, you know, they've got to like kids or anything like that. It's a different market and, you know, it's a different type of sales technique and it's a different process that you follow with that customer, whereas you know, within Foot Locker, and again, within the women's part of Foot Locker, it's, it's very different. From a diversity standpoint, um, although we do attract a lot of females, we have to work really hard for that because females aren't naturally attracted to the automobile business. Um, so again, from a female perspective, it's really thinking about how we can engage with them in a very different way, appealing, you know, to sales and customer service and so forth. Forget that our product is cars, let us tell you all the different things that you're going to learn within the business. Large metro markets like that we're in, like London, Manchester, Birmingham, we don't just have one or two stores, we've got maybe five, six, seven, up to 20 stores in that market alone. Each of those, when you look at it in more detail, actually tailors itself or matches the local environment that they're already in. So um, I'd say we're quite diverse from that point of view.